Welcome back everybody, it's time to delve into the dungeon again and we will be taking on more of those challenges I've already constructed. The special challenges Dampe has for us. Our next one is House of the Henox. We have three minutes and we have Henoxes to battle. So I made this fairly short. Up we go. And we have a Henox to fight. We will more than likely have three of them to battle. Went fairly quickly, I'd say. Just a single rupee. Much easier to take them down, or a little bit easier anyway. We probably won't notice too much, but... We will notice that enemies get knocked back a bit more. Okay, so that's kind of strange. Because I've got the level 2 sword. It took 3 blows. It should take 2 to take those down. Does, it, does this just give me 3 attack power? Because comparatively speaking, in the previous games... This doubled your power, and then the level 2 sword would deal 4 would wind up dealing it four points of damage when combined with this, going to eight. All right, he moves if you approach him. So maybe they've toned down the power a little bit. If I wanted to be really cheap, I should have put Mold on there, or maybe they put the genie in there just to stall. I think he might be set, I'll have to check. It should only take a couple of blows to defeat him. Wait a minute. Has he been buffed up for this fight? Very strange indeed. Because I haven't used the red clothes in this game. So, yeah, the genie is set as the boss just to drag it out. So, back to square one. Five minutes. Fairly basic dungeon with our dungeon boss actually near us, do I? So I don't think I have to go in there. But we can sneak through here. Get hit. Let block that. So where are Right, there's there are two chests. I need to bomb this. So that's the way to the boss. 
Then there's a fairy fountain if we need it. And one of the rooms from Eagle's Tower. There's our staircase. And here's Box and Blano. So this will be a good test. Four hits with the level two sword <laughs> defeating Blano. So, taken two hits, which means if this was a straight double, Blano would be dead by now. Evidently, this gives us an attack power of three. It doubles our base attack, but only gives us that extra point if we have the level two sword. So basically, say the level one sword is the Kokiri sword. The level 2 sword is the Razor Sword from Majora's Mask. And the level 3 is the Gilded Sword. We're doing damage equivalent to the Gilded Sword. We might wind up doing Great Fairy Sword level of damage if we have a piece of power. I'm not sure. We'll have to experiment. There's our boss key. Let's hastily make our way back. I think I got to choose to run into a wall. I didn't... Well, I did choose to run into a wall because I was the one who put the input. In. No, jump up. Come on! Why is this... Alright, well that didn't do anything for my score. I hope it's not an annoyingly complex boss. I probably put mold on there, so... At least we can top ourselves up. And across this way. And our boss is Slime Eye. I think they might have tried to avoid making it too easy, but you still have to hit him four times to split him out. Snap! And there we go actually wrapped up fairly quickly. Not a record though, because I got stuck trying to jump on top of that thwomp. Need a hand. Okay. Ah, no sword. Bugger. Those are very, very impressive shields to be able to block magic that well. Link's shields usually don't work that well in the early games anyway. So 
So my red clothes are completely useless in this dungeon. Alright, so I basically have to make them... Teleport out of the way. And let's put a bomb in there. Needs another bomb. Just to open the door. Oh, nice shot. And this passage again. Uh, set my feather. And let's get out of here before that thing comes back. It's an interesting little tour of all the dungeons you've been to, but I still think a bit of creativity would be appreciated. A nice opportunity to have different modes, have enemies that haven't appeared for a while make a bit of a comeback and show up in multiple rooms. And unfortunately I did not stick the landing on the switch. There's really not a lot to doing these. They're pretty much optional. So where do I have to go? I have to go down and around and sort of very complex paths. Okay. Boomerang takes care of them. Okay, so the boomerang doesn't do anything to your bombs. Just thought I'd check anyway. And the fact that you have to open all the chests, that's the other annoying bit. I mean, it's nice for grinding a bit of money. But it also creates that problem. Because... Depending on the build. Oh, don't want the bomb. Pick up the bomb. Throw the bomb. And there we go. But yeah, depending on the on the size of the dungeon, it can be very annoying actually going through all of these. You really, really have to think because. Otherwise, you'll just be stuck wandering around for ages like I am at the moment, so... Uh... Should've used the hook shot. And I mean, we're getting pretty crappy rewards for the most part. We do need to bomb that wall down there. And there we go. Slightly better reward, but not much. And 
So, yeah, we will have to unlock that door and then we can go to the boss. We just have to deal with the vacuum mouth trying to suck us in. Alright, run, 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 run! Don't push the wall. Thankfully we've had a couple of quick ones so we might be able to add in a few more based on what's next. It's when you have to fill in those really big shapes that this mode gets incredibly problematic. There's our key. And push this. We don't have anything more to get. There's a fairy fountain just off to the side in this particular build. And facade, who is just unfortunately time consuming. I think it... Ow. Alright, that one got pushed back into him. That was a relief. Okay, I'm actually taking damage from these. This really teaches you exactly how valuable those blue clothes are. Because I can just shrug off those uh, tiles when I'm wearing the blue clothes. It's very difficult to do if you don't defend yourself when you've got the red clothes, because you'll get hurt. Okay. Zigzaggy. So... Well, this one was a pain in the backside to make, I remember that. The next one was even worse, which... ...is scant consolation. I think we can head up. We've got our sword back, which is very nice, so let's see if I can set some records. Oh, bad move, bad move, bad move. I think in this case we just have to tank everything until it's gone. But yeah, there really aren't any horizontal running corridors in the game for some reason. The ones that are don't fit into sort of the standard definition of the rooms. And we get nothing for our trouble. So, we still have to maneuver down this way. Probably should... Oh, there's a mold on here. Yeah, basically you're going to run out of certain rooms. Yeah, this appears to do three damage because Moldorm is in his very annoyed state. So we don't need to go back that way, we need to go this way. Oh. 
Whoops. All right, let's move as quickly as we can. So I want to try and get this, and there's one more out after this out of the way that I want to show you in order to prove just how frustrating all these mechanics really are. Where exactly am I in the dungeon? Most of the regular ones I've got memorized very easily. So I'm all the way up here, just great. And I sent that flying into the air because stupid case. Alright, so there's no need to go that way, we have to head off this way. It's mostly just rush around and hope. Fairly simple one. I will have to make sure I'm much more careful around blade traps. And we've got more stairs to go through. I think I might have made sure we didn't have very many to deal with. I mean, some of the areas were probably cut off out of sheer frustration because dealing with this is a nightmare. We still have, what, six chests to go? It would be very nice to just position the key somewhere and be done with it. You could see pretty much how, how much work would need to be done to actually have a Zelda Maker game because there are lots of little quality of life things this mode doesn't have. Just a quarter of a heart really adds up. Oh, I really shouldn't have stuck that landing. Yeah, after a while, I think I've just got a little devoid of commentary with this mode because I find it so incredibly frustrating and I still have to work my way down here. I know I've made plenty of mistakes in actually making these fairly drawn out dungeons. First time I've actually been able to shield it. Thought I got there first, but okay. That time I did. And the ball just drops to the ground. Oh, come on! 
do. If I'm starting to get a bit frustrated and cynical, it's because these actually were arduous to complete under normal circumstances and are even more irritating now. You just realise how many fiddly little elements there are in these. And don't stand on one of them. Because they will now disappear. Wait for them. Bait those. I really want to, do, to get the next one out of the way, mainly because it is insanely frustrating and I want to get all my venting out in one episode. So if we need to heal, we can top up there. And the key cavern room is very useful. You need a crossroads. Go for that one. So we've been hunting for ages and we still only get one crappy rupee. You are going to see a lot of rooms that are the same. At least there's a bit of variety in Mario Maker, even if some of the levels just are downright, well, maybe inadequate or poorly designed. Some people don't necessarily think things out. But I will say, a very well-designed troll level, one that makes you laugh, is always appreciated. Ones that are just obnoxious for the sake of being obnoxious, don't play them. Maybe there's a sense of pride in actually defeating them, but I don't think it's worth it in the long run. Okay, that worked, sort of. No bonus points for jumping on cheap cheaps. The worst part about all this is I've got no one to blame but myself, because I made these. Okay, so I don't have to go up there, I just have to go across this way. Here, and whiz robes, which we do have to defeat. I thought I set the bombs. Get that back. And yep, we gotta go down to... Defeat the Mask Mimic again. You really do start to realise exactly how repetitive this all is. So my frustration is gonna come through loud and clear. I mean, if this actually winds up turning you off the game. These challenges just prove too frustrating and irritating for you. I don't blame you. These bonus ones are legitimately annoying. You get money for what? More chamber stones. Basically. At least we've got Moldorm as our last boss. Can I actually kill it with a spin attack this time? No, I still don't get to defeat Moldorm in one shot. Obviously, bosses are programmed to go down in at least two hits. This one. Stairs. I no! hated this. Every single square 
has to have a staircase on it. You can imagine the logistical nightmare of trying to make everything connect because the stupid game doesn't let you choose where the stairs go. I do not blame you if the bonus challenges are not fun. They definitely aren't. This is a misbegotten attempt at creating a challenge. It's ridiculous. It took me ages to actually make this stupid challenge entirely because the game didn't want to connect things where I wanted them to go. And as you can as you can tell by the sound of my voice it frustrated me to no end. Do you have to drag yourself through all these passages on top of that? And we got the kill on the cheap cheap. That's a bit of style point. So where are we? Yeah. These ones connected easily enough. Actually, let's push this one. Come here, keys. So get that going there and... Oh, what? You can't actually kill it like that? That's a bit unfortunate. I thought you could. So, lots and lots of underground passages to go to, but we have to navigate... We can thankfully navigate our way through the dungeon proper. Go through here... Because every room needs a staircase, you can actually try and connect them like it's a regular dungeon. Of course, there is a certain point where you're not going to be able to, and that's bothersome. So, let's see where this staircase leads. Whoa, don't go into the lava. This was the room I had all that trouble with. If I jumped when I did, I might have been able to make it. I thought I jumped. I was wrong. So we've wound up over here. That's right, we have to kill the Pol's voice first. And the owl statue is around. Alright, so we have to get that little bit just down there. Uh, thankfully that's an easy puzzle. Thank you, I thought you'd already gone in. There we go. So we'll actually get this, then we'll see where that next staircase goes. I made the joke about staircases back in episode 11, but I really think that claptrap voice clip I used sums up this entire stupid challenge. It's extremely poorly implemented. Right, so I'm... Possibly in a reasonable area, I don't know. But yeah, you can probably see why people don't like this one. Why this particular element is probably... The worst of the new additions to the game. Yes. 
and I do think it has some impact on what is actually a genuinely good game. So, where are we? We've still got one staircase left to go through. And it's this room again, which gave me so much trouble last time. There we go, much better. Just push this. We'll have to see how much money we have as well once we get out of this. Yeah, I really wanted to get the stair challenge out of the way because it just brings back so many bad memories. Alright, so we have to work out how to make our way to the boss and into the hole. That makes me feel a little better. Odd, it's going up this time. So yes, this is one of the stairways in Bottle Grot. Well, I didn't jump like I wanted to, but that worked nonetheless. So where am I right now? I'm actually near the boss. Now I need to be over here. And I thought the chest wasn't appearing for a minute. Alright, we've navigated our stupid staircase dungeon. We can go this way. I can get hurt. And we can deal with Slime Eye. Just to wrap things up. Thank you. A new record on top of that. So, we have Treasure Hoard. Skull Arrangement, which is based on Death Mountain from the original game. And then I will be making the Supreme Shape afterwards. That's going to be a bit of a bother. But I'll probably take some shortcuts. This one is at least fun, because you can grab plenty of money along the way. So, speaking of money... Wait, no, I didn't want to do that. Go back. We have 2,000 rupees. I can go and buy another chamber stone if I want to, but... I'm wrapping things up here. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you next time for the last bonus episode. We've done pretty much everything we can on Koholent Island. It's time to wrap it all up. See you then.